Good morning, Reborn Mommies and Daddies out there. It's me here, Pooh Bear 253 Hey, y'all. Well, as you can see, my flash decided to come on this time. So if you see that little strobe light deal, you guys know what the deal is. So early this morning, I have baby Sky with me getting some bonding in. With this precious little angel and i still just kind of taken back and just really just can't believe i have you know twins but to me like they're just the same kid but they're not really twins but i try to call them the twins her head's gonna fall off it's not one to stay there we go so i have her i dressed her in that um Precious first little set that I absolutely love with the little hearts and like the I love mommy. She has a little sleeper on in the bib and everything. And she slept right here and those are her little sunglasses <laughs> there on her pillow. And one of her pacifiers, she has two pacifiers for right now. Pacifier I just made for her yesterday. I made perfect for her, her little shamrock pacifier is perfect she actually has it but it's just wrapped up in there and here's an overview of the babies my count is back up to a whopping eight babies and i am pretty sufficient uh sufficient i'm pretty satisfied with my collection that i have currently at this moment and i just came i wanted to come on with a tag um if you're interested in answering it the name of my tag is First Impressions. I'm not sure if someone's done this before or not. I'm about to jump off topic. As you can see, the shoes are gone. I put them back in their container until my other storage solution comes in. Um, and then I have plans for that container. Woo hoo hoo, fun. But yeah. Um, first Impressions. Honestly, truth. Um, Tell the truth. What was your very first honest um, impression of these realistic dolls? I just want to know. When you first saw them, were you immediately in love and intrigued and wanted to know more? Were you a little taken back and confused and like, what is this? What are these people doing with these dolls? Like, why do they have them? Were you just racking your brain trying to understand and bring some logic behind it? Were you immediately creeped out and like, OMG, these people are absolutely nuts so crazy. I am just so just positive that something is wrong with each and every one of these people. Which one were you? Or were you just kind of like, hmm, that's interesting. So where did you start? What were what was your first impression? And you know, how did you start collecting? Like what prompted you to start collecting these dolls? So I'll have to tell you which person I was. I was like, wait a minute, what? why who what are they doing i don't get it. it i said what in the world um oh my goodness she trying to feed the baby wouldn't good wouldn't the goodness gracious is going on something is not right what have i stumbled upon like i said be absolutely honest and that is my absolute honest opinion i thought this was absolutely nuts but even though my first impression was this is nuts, but I was intrigued and I wanted to continue watching. So I searched more and I found more channels and I found um, artists that actually made them um, still moments nursery. And I just became infatuated with it. And I was like, Wow, this is cool. I absolutely loved watching her box packing videos. I loved watching Melissa and back in the day, um, 
when um reborn princess made videos becky i loved watching her videos and soon like later on after that um i found more and more people and like i was like omg i want one so <laughs> so basically to give hope to the reborn mommies and daddies out there they kind of have family members that are kind of iffy on the situation and like this is weird you're weird i don't understand give them time um tell them be like you know yeah i understand it you don't really understand and you may think it's weird but just tell them you know just respect my hobby and respect my right to collect my dolls and enjoy my dolls and just tell them like if you ever are interested and want to know more about them or you know just give me a holler but if not like i you have to put your foot down and say i will not be teased or mocked or i will not tolerate it and just be serious about it whether it's family friends kids or whatnot i was like look this is something that's near and dear to my heart and you making fun of it really hurts my feelings and if that family member or a friend really loves you and care for you they're gonna really take into consideration hey you know she really likes this this is something she likes and they're gonna think about it and you know after a little while they're gonna be okay with it i know um you may not think so and like i say i'm just basing off of my family because honest to honest truth um when my family kind of gave me negative gave a negative um vibe towards my dolls i didn't come around anymore i just kind of was like whatever if you don't accept me you just can't have none of me at all and they kind of picked up on that and they got to accepting my hobby real quick if they wanted to see me ever again that's just the truth that's what happened i put up a huge wall it was just me my hubby and the dolls i i shut out my mom i shut out uh any friends that kind of tried to hint at the fact that they didn't like my dolls i just shut them out i'm like either you accept me or, or don't come around because i will not be bullied i will not be really ridiculed over something i really enjoy point blank that's just how it was and after a while they accepted them <laughs> because they i guess they figured hey if we don't accept these dolls we'll never see her again i don't know that worked for me it was kind of like a threat like either like my dolls or don't talk to me no more that's just how it was or either like if you're not gonna like them don't say anything negative about them like i said you can have your own opinions when you're not around me but you will not disrespect my hobby in front of me and i put my foot down about it and that was just about it but i don't think my family i like i said i really think they thought it was something more than what it was and that's why they had the negative um reaction because hubby and i were trying to have kids and then all of a sudden i show up with these realistic dolls they thought i had gone crazy um once they realized and once i kind of invited them in and i tried to bring my mom in and show her what i did with the dolls and you know just the fact that i just like to dress them and basically what they're doing right now is what they do unless i am taking them out on a meetup or just taking them on a little car ride this is what they do i dress them up and they just look cute that's that's pretty much the extent of it uh every now and then i may want to uh feed a baby uh not very often that i might want to do that um and i have my little bottles here if i want to do that and i just kind of sit on the couch and relax and do that so back to the tag that's what it was what were your first impressions and be honest and be truthful to yourself and um just kind of curious as to how did you take your first step you know how did you just jump in you know did you just test or did you um research for a while and really 
wanted to see? Did you really just kind of sit back and research and see which type of doll or kit you wanted? Did you just watch videos and see what you wanted? Or did you just, as soon as you just looked up eBay, oh, this one's cute, bought it and just jumped right in? That was kind of me. Like, it, I didn't buy my immediately. I did kind of look for some bargains. I was a bargain hunter and she was basically the cheapest doll that I found that was the cutest. Um, so, and then I got her and then you just kind of, I just kind of had that fever. Then I got my first, um, um, uh, what's that called? My first, um, dang it, my brain, um, custom. And then I was gifted a baby from Hello Dolly Nursery and then I wanted another one and another one and another one. And then eventually I just kind of slowed down because like it was eating into the finances. And then that's kind of how we got onto the budget stuff and all that. So just let me know what were your first impressions and like what steps did you take to adopt your first reborn? So that was my little tag. Um, if you guys want to participate, please. Um, um, Title it um, First Impressions Reborn Tag. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Peace. Bye bye.